whales are migratory species. They do not solely belong to one country. Yankee whalers in the 1800s set the stage for whale killing around the world. Now, 150 years later, America's fascination for whales has helped create a commercial whale watch industry worth over $500 million per year. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome aboard the Dolphin 8. I am Dr. Carol Carlson. I represent the International Fund for Animal Welfare. I'll be your field guide for this trip. Ever since the Dolphin Fleet started whale watching on this coast, members of our team at the center have been on board. We've been collecting information and learning about whales. Marine biologist Dr. Carol Carlson has spent the last 20 years researching humpback whales in Provincetown off the back of a whale watch boat. Carol has been inspired to devote her life to the study of whales. I saw it! I saw it! Now. Whales are amazing. They're so large and yet they seem to be so cognizant, so aware of their environment, so aware of us. Perhaps it was their size, or perhaps it was the fact that they actually came over to the boat. Maybe it was the fact that when they rolled over, I could see their eye, and I was looking at this large whale's eye. And later, it was certainly the fact that we know so little about them, that there were so many mysteries about their lives. And I think that's what really hooked me. are individual humpback whales. We can tell them apart by the shape of the fin on their back or by the pattern on the underside of their tail. This pattern is as stable as each one of your thumbprints, but it's the size of a small billboard on the side of a highway. No two whales have the same tail pattern, and by looking at these tail patterns, we have been able to answer some very basic questions about whales. Perfect. Now this photograph when it's developed, will be looked at by one of our researchers. We started the catalog in 1979. Before that, we literally had a small box of photographs. Now we have very extensive files, perhaps the largest single database in the world on humpback whales. There was a whale just ahead that's been very active, and now it has a flipper in the air that long arm of the humpback. No whale has flippers as long as a humpback whale. And in fact, their scientific name, Megaphora novanglii, very loosely translates to large winged New Englander. So the flippers of the humpback whale are literally wings in the water. 